Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is a beach update that some of you have been asking me for. We are right now situated in front of the Hyatt Regency Resort. And while I, I am not going to show you images of what kind of happened this past week, we are starting this new week, Monday, with beach cleanup. We see some of the folks doing the cleanup and we have noticed quite a bit of seagrass on the beaches. And uh, we'll be taking you in this video to some of the beaches, just a short update of the situation. And folks are already doing the work. But as far as the water, it is looking a whole lot calmer. It's not as bad as it was last week for sure. So there is some hope and we do see and spot some grass in the water, but overall the water quality seems to be improving a little bit. And while we're at the Palm Beach, let's take a look at the other side. So looking towards the Rio Resort, we are more or less near the Barcelo. And uh, maybe I can go up this pier and check out the water from here. I know a lot of you have been concerned and we thank you for your concern. Conditions seem to be improving ever so slowly. The water doesn't look as clear as it usually does. So I'll be honest about that part. I'm not trying to, to make uh, the situation look less than what it is. But still good enough, in my opinion, to be swimming. One of those other things that I wanted to show you. So the beach is over there. Marlin and Seppi are checking it out as well. And we can see seagrass all the way up here. So the damage was pretty significant, as you've seen on social media. This, these are the resort grounds, and you can see them putting some seagrass over there and cleaning it up. I think the high has been doing a very nice job to clean over here. Let's go to one of the other beaches to check them out. So right now we are at the beach situated between the Rio and the Divi Phoenix. And a lot of locals use this beach, but here the damage is quite uh, more uh, than the previous one, or maybe the previous one they've been uh, working on it and making it look better. But if we turn around, we can see even in the parking lot, you can see some seagrass. Usually there's no um, white sand on this side. So even back here where we put the cars, we parked the cars here, a lot of damage, a lot of damage here. And the water is there are definitely more waves on uh, this part. You can see all of the damage here. There's still some waves, not as bad as they were. And I can definitely notice a lot more seagrass on this side. And not to be confused with sargassum because this is definitely not. You can see that it is the actual sea grass. This is what usually the turtles would be eating. And we come here quite often actually. And there is a pathway that's just been completely covered by sand. And let's continue on to this side and see uh, Normally the water would not come all the way up. 
So let's take a look at this with the upcoming wave. Definitely not reaching here. You see a plop of this down. And let's just briefly walk here. How I can tell you is that the water level, in other words, is definitely higher than the usual. This is also where the police station is situated, beach police. And uh, yeah, folks cleaning up, trying to do their best to make it look good again. So this is the update from more or less the Rio and the DV Phoenix. Conditions here for swimming. Hmm. I just asked Marlene's opinion. She said, no, "I wouldn't. I would not swim uh, as a local. I would still get into the water, but it can be a little bit smelly. I don't get this smell right now, but in the water, it can be a little bit. So it's up to every individual how they experience." We are now heading to Eagle Beach. Let's go. And we are now at the Eagle Beach. Not what you expect to see necessarily, but I did want to point out a few things. And uh, one of them is the amount of seashells that we see here is, in my opinion, never seen. I've never seen so many here at the Eagle Beach. Look at how many there are under this tree alone. I mean, it's, it's amazing how many there are. We are more or less also next to the 40 trees, so we're gonna check those out. I did hear a lot of damage in this area. And we still have some splashes and uh, we did hear that the patches on the beach is closed. And just a brief, quick look is that there is definitely a lot of seagrass and uh, it's look, it looks as bad as I've probably have ever seen it. So uh, let's go further and take a better look at it. Look at this one. Now the Fofoti trees seem to have escaped. I hope so at least. Nice little lizard. This other Fofoti tree also, uh, look at where you can spot all of the seagrass. This is not being um, put here by people, but actually by the water. So there's a lot of damage. There were signs for no swimming. I think today you can. And we're gonna take a look at the water conditions soon, or in a moment rather. But even the water sports guys are not here yet. Look at how much. Now, definitely, I doubt you can see it very well in the video, but definitely a lot of seagrass in this part. Not the whole water, so not everything, but certainly spots of it. I can spot over there some of it. And let's just walk up further to give you uh, an idea. I do believe the passions on the beach will continue closed for dinner at least. 
possibly the bar will be open. But check with them if you have dinner reservations, if they are still open, still operating. And while cleanup effort, efforts uh, are being done, I can definitely see a lot of folks working here further up. It's not looking good right now. So this will take a few days to do the cleanup. But hopefully uh, we'll have better news in the coming week or so as the water quality improves. And more of the damage here at the Eagle Beach. I mean, we see some palapas are also down. Lots of seagrass. There's even a uh, kayak that remained down there. But some folks, nonetheless, making the most out of it and uh, enjoying the water and having a dip this early morning. <laughs> uh, the water does not look like it usually does, but it looks a little bit better than the beach we were a moment ago at the Palm Beach. So, uh, Eagle Beach, despite the looks of it. So here, it might still be the best for swimming so far. And to wrap up this Eagle Beach part, maybe some of you do recognize these, this swing and uh, this uh, other one. And these are usually in the water. So probably they were pulled out or just put here by the water, I'm not sure. But to give you an example of the aftermath, we see chairs and tables. And uh, these were, according to Marlene, uh, part of the hut that we just saw. So these kind of like small tables. And last but not least of the Eagle Beach, the 440 trees again. Glad to see that they're still standing. So we are now at the, the DV Beach in front of the DV Resort. And we can see a lot of palapas that have fallen even one back here somewhere back here and uh, from the tire marks we see that they have been trying to make this beach look better i was afraid that what i was gonna see here that look doesn't look as bad uh, even the beach looks wider than it was just a couple of weeks ago when we had a similar situation, at least from this side. And I'll take a look at the water in a bit. But in general, it uh, doesn't look very wide, the beach up further up. But I do see some folks swimming. This, even in normal, days on normal days it is a little bit wavy a lot of waves so nothing out of the ordinary as far as the water is concerned so far let's take a look at the actual how it actually looks like and i thank you for clicking on this video that i am giving you enough information if you are coming to Aruba in the next couple of days, etc. And 
uh, yeah, the water doesn't look as clear as it usually does, but conditions here are also okay, I would say. Don't see seagrass in the water. Trying to look for it, but don't see it. So that's a good sign. We're going to go to further up the TV beach, closer to the Tamarain Resort to wrap this one up. Morning. And we are now at the other part of the DV beach where the Tamarain is, the beach bar. And uh, just if you go back a few uh, walk videos ago, now this is where the water is. And it used to be, in my estimation, up here. So it used to be all the way here. And we did have some damage to the Palapas. There used to be some Palapas here. So the water used to be like just about here the last few times. We had a lot of rocks. Now we, I'm not sure if this is filled. I do see a truck on the beach cleaning up and glad to see that happening. And my thumbs up to the folks of the DV Resorts for being really, really, really good in, uh, in that part. But it's incredible to see the difference of where the water is now. We saw signs of it a moment ago at the Punta Bravo, so in between the DV and the Casa del Mar. So folks, it's waving at us. And uh, let's see, I think it's a good 20 meters or so. So like 60 feet. And I can't remember the water being so further up in quite a long time. Let's hope it stays like this. So the, this part of the DV beach can recover. I know a lot of questions all the time about it. And uh, yeah. I hope you like this update. We are going to take a look at the Tamarain, just a part of it, and see how that is doing. We saw some really not so good looking videos from other folks and photos as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can recover from this as quickly as possible. It's gonna take at least, I would say, in my estimation, at least a week or a few weeks to get back where we were at least. And so if you are coming to Aruba, I spoke to some folks uh, a moment ago, they are making the most out of it. Don't cancel your trip. Just come. You'll find somewhere to have a nice time. And uh, just, we were at the Baby Beach, by the way, a couple of days ago, like Saturday, and it had just about the same conditions, a little bit of um, seaweed, and the water wasn't looking as good as as normal but a lot of folks enjoying there as well nothing further we'll take a look back there and have the last couple of shots for you guys bye bye